Do you need both those colanders? No, I just need that one. Can you take the other one out of the sink, then? I'm a little aggravated with Bev. She's using the entire sink. Come on, sabotage. How long is this shrimp going to take her to do today? Bev spent a lot of time working on shrimp. I'm not really sure what else she did. It totally was uncalled for to call me out like that. I couldn't believe how harsh Heather was on Beverly. And no matter if you like the person personally or not, there was no room for that kind of stuff. Hopefully you like who you're standing next to because the person next to you will be your partner. I would have rather gotten paired with anybody else besides Bev. I don't think that she's really a team player. I've seen selfish behaviors from her. She doesn't think like a chef. It's like a duet of dogs. Let's not call it a no. duet, though. The pistachio nuts? No, too much, too much. Get Juniper! Juniper! Heather's definitely bossy, which makes communication very difficult for me. Yeah, we got all the spices for the duck breasts. Uh -huh. But I'm definitely a team player, and hopefully we are able to work together today. We have duck fat. We probably don't need that much. Oh, OK. We can take it out. I'm going to make a spice rub, the plus spice. I just want to make sure, Bev, that the whole dish isn't too Asian, because that's not my style. And I'm not going home, Bev. Bev cooks pan-Asian, and I cook American farm-to-table plates. So our styles don't necessarily meld. But at this point, I'm focused on making my food really great. Hopefully, that's a good match. OK, Bev, as soon as I'm done with this, you do your dry rub, right? We might want to like think about the name of our dish too. I don't want it to appear to be like a completely Asian dish. Beverly and Heather are having a little bit of friction. We can put some orange peel in there. Yeah. I respect Beverly. She's a talented chef. And honestly, Heather's being a complete That's got to reduce, let it stay on the back. I know. Yep, don't move them too quickly. Just let them hang out. I think that. Yep, just let them render. Gonna render yep. slow. Just let them render. Beverly asks a lot of questions like a sous chef would ask. She doesn't think like a chef. Put the onions on there too or no? I think so. I think this looks good. It's like a knife to the heart. You don't want to go home because somebody else makes a mistake. You don't like it? I don't like the onions. I don't know why. Really? This is part of my rustic style, so we're going to have to compromise. And it felt not so much like a finished dish, but a collection of ingredients. We also don't really, like, even throughout this entire competition, we have not seen eye to eye. I want to eat it. I do. I think our work ethics are completely different. I do, especially in the last challenge. In the last challenge, you really had shrimp. That's really what you focused on for two days. Wow. That just really hits me, because I have a really strong work ethic. And that's 400 shrimp to peel and vein perfectly. She helped me peel them at the very end, but I didn't ask you to. No, your teammate did. I, I'm not liking this conversation. I think she is an extremely hardworking, strong cook. I mean, she kicks butt in the kitchen. Because everybody doesn't see eye to eye, that happens in everyday life. So how did this manifest itself today? You didn't, you didn't trust her? Or? She doesn't trust herself. Sometimes you don't have enough self-confidence to push through and get the results. Teamwork is asking questions and making sure we're on the same page. And I do have confidence, but it comes off in a different way. I still think that the, the dish was a very delicious dish, and I stand by it. Bev, I'm sorry if you think that I hurt your feelings, but that's the truth. Yeah, I didn't call you out in the last challenge at the judges' table. And you know what? I felt like I had no say in our dish. I kept telling you I didn't want to do anything Asian. You didn't listen to any of my ideas. They didn't say they didn't like the Asian flavors. They thought the whole dish was confusing. They're not wrong. Definitely think Heather crossed the line. I just don't work that way. I don't feel better when I put someone else down. It makes me feel worse. I just feel like selling her out may have sold stop you out. Stop selling her out. Not, OK, okay. No, 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 stop, stop. Up. No, you stop. You don't. You guys don't speak up. Everybody who has worked with Bev on a team, all that has has. That doesn't mean that I think she has a bad work ethic. There's 13 people trying to create a dinner for 200 people, and one person works on shrimp for two days. Seriously? What would you do if that was one of your cooks or your sous chefs? Think about it. Ultimately, we worked as a team. Every decision Correct. on that and dish I took full responsibility is, for it. is together. You know what I mean? I don't I mean, want to be on the bottom. I want to be on the bottom because it's my own stuff that I did it, that I had control of everything on that plate. That's when I want to get sent home if it's not good enough. Not because somebody else played a part in what I have put out.